previously recorded. doing today today um we're just in the kitchen cooking a little dinner for the day i hope y'all is having a good day an amazing start to your day um welcome to my channel if you is new let me go ahead on and say all that welcome to my channel if you is new thank you for coming if you is um new only thing i ask y'all to do is rain a dough hit the thumbs up the like button one time for your girl if you don't mind and also <clears throat> Make sure that you turn your notifications on and set them to all so you'll be notified whenever I upload a video or come live. Um, one last thing that I ask that you do is share my videos, okay? So, um, share my videos to spread me around, get me on out there, you know, let everybody else know about me and stuff like that. All right, all right. So let's get into this video. Today, I'm cooking. But I ain't finna be doing all that, you know, all that, you know, just a string cooking. I had some leftovers from Thanksgiving, so I took out some collard greens. I took out some green beans for my husband, because y'all know he don't eat collard greens. I took out some ham, and I got that on the stove, and I got it going. So, what we gonna be making is some fried cornbread and some rice to go along with everything that we got so that's what we're gonna be doing so i'm just gonna show y'all what i got and stuff like that you know um this just pretty much just a laid back video you know just chill with me today you know while i cook my dinner and let's kick the bobo you know have good conversation and let me put a smile on your face today that's what this video is about you know who doesn't want to smile at least every day you know what i'm saying so if you can't put one on your face yourself then let me put one on that for you all right you already know i'm gonna give you a good smile positive energy positive affirmations is what you're gonna get from me and that's it all right all right so gotta get my cornmeal and dang i need to call baby tell him bring some a drink to or bring some ice one because uh i would love to have me some tea today i ain't had no tea no real tea in so long and you can't count that uh milo's tea child that i hate to talk about people and their brands and stuff but sometimes they need to get together if you're gonna sell something make it right you know what i'm saying i know you're trying to cater to you know, people that can't have sugar like that, but you cater to the ones that like the sugar too. So it's either you put the sugar in there and make one that's sweet enough for the ones that want the sugar. You know what I'm saying? Bang. Bring some to drink too. How long you gonna be? Okay, bring some to drink too. All right. Yeah. Hey! If you don't bring no, if you, well, I know you're gonna bring some drink, but bring some ice because I want me some tea today. All right. Mm. 
Okay, I got some room in my freezer child for some tea. Y'all know I ain't never, I mean, for some ice. Y'all know I ain't never got no room for no dang ice. So let me get my tea bags on. I hope, I hope I got some while I'm telling him to bring some on. I'm excited and I don't think I put it in here. I don't think I got no tea. And I want some tea. <laughs> I want me some tea. Now I gotta call him back. And tell him never mind, cause I ain't got no tea. I need to make me a list. Cause, honey, I don't like to be without stuff when I want some. You know what I'm saying? That's why I shop the way that I do. I overly shop. I overly shop. I do that. Be I, not really overly. I just buy everything that I know I'm going to want. Hold on, y'all. I'm really got to get up in big. It ain't up, though. But I over, I, I, I over shot. Oh, dead girl. I knew I had put it in this thing right here. I just didn't know where it was at. Oh, dead girl. Oh, dead girl. Right there. I knew, I knew it. I knew I put it in this. I'm like, cause I don't make tea like that. So I know I got me some tea, but I'm definitely still gonna have to buy me some tea. I'll have to get me some more. So yeah, y'all. But that's why I, I that's why I shop for not overly shop, but I, I buy everything that I possibly think that I will want, and I put it in my house because when I want something, then I'll be able to go to it and pull it out. But when you ain't got, you gotta run to the store and be standing in line, and maybe it's raining or to get out in the cold. Or, Maybe you might be sick or ain't feeling good or, you know what I'm saying? So, if you already got it at home, then you can just go in your cabinet and pull it out. You know, stuff like that, that'll last a long time, you know. Now, I will stock up on me some ice cream too whenever I think I may, you know, whenever I got a taste for some, but other than that, um, you know, keep grandma some popsicles and keep me maybe like a little box of ice cream. And whenever I want some ice cream, I go to me some ice cream or whatever. But yeah, so. That's why I shop the way that I do, because I hate running out to a store. I hate running out to a store, grocery shopping or because I'm out of something that I want at that time. Like, uh -uh. it ain't fun wanting stuff, especially when you got the taste for it too. Ooh, child, that'd be the worst. So, I'm about to get my water on for my tea. Thank God I got sugar for my tea. Thank God I got in the cabinet. Thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God for the sugar. <laughs> A mess, I know. I know, child. Okay, so. Oh, we're going to have to get this on the eye that's not going to be in y'all way so that I can fry my bread, make my rice, cook it up for y'all one time, for the one time, hey. Okay, so I think y'all gonna see this stuff in the pots, 
but I think that I'm gonna put it in some bowls because because when it's time to uh, when it's time to eat, I don't wanna have to wash no dishes. Hold on, y'all. I just learned something. My stove was unplugged. So when I was, I didn't, I didn't know that it was halfway unplugged. And so when I was trying to turn it on, it was just, you know, you could hear it trying to turn it on, but it wasn't ticking. You know, it didn't have, it didn't have that noise right there. It was just, you could hear the, the gas. So I, I didn't, I didn't know what was going on. That's why I had to stop y'all for a second because I thought I was finna hunt. Uh, 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 Home Depot. <laughs> I need to use my warranty for this stove. I'ma need for y'all to come out here and figure something out, fix it, replace it or something. But anywho, so yeah, I didn't. I thought that the the plug was just to work the oven. Let me turn my oven back on. I thought the plug was just to work the oven. But the plug is for the oven and for some reason for the ticking for the ignite part. Whatever that may be in conjunction with electricity. So I don't know. But my eye over here was still going. So I can't tell you. What's what and what's what, what, but I figured it out. It won't blow in, so I got it. I ain't got to call Home Depot, child, because, honey, they sure was about to get a, a phone call, but I'm about to put me some tea on right here in my pot back there. And I just got me some of this Walmart tea, you know, the one that come, used to come a dollar in the box, child. And that's what I got right there. So I'm going to put me back. I always put about nine tea bags. Yeah, so I put about nine tea bags and just tie them together. That way, when I get ready to pull it out, come on, now. I can pull them all out at, at one time. You know, I ain't got to worry about all the bags because I squeeze my bags and everything, honey. I make sure that I get my um, money's worth. So I tie them up here at the top with the, the strings that up there. Tie them up there at the top. Right there, you see the knot? Mm hmm. That was my dropper. Together like that, right now. Okay, so now let me put my tea back up before I have another panic attack about where my tea is at. And I got some because, honey, I think I might was about to cry. I think I was, y'all. I think I was about to cry. So, we ain't got the y'all ain't got to see me crying today. So, thank God for that, Lord. I thank you. But I knew, I knew it was in my cabinet. And then I got me some chicken still in that refrigerator. Y'all know we made them chicken tenders and um, pork chop that night. I still got me some chicken in the refrigerator. So I think I might. Fry me some. I think I might. Okay, let me show y'all what I got. Okay, so I got me some ham that's still left over. And I just put it in there, honey. And we just warm it up. I put me some foil on top of it. Put me a little water down in the bottom. And let that go for what it know. Then I got me some greens. Right here. And all thing they need to do is heat up as well. And I got me some green beans with some turkey necks 
that done. Okay. So that's what we got going on so far. So now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, I'm going to turn the oven off because the ham is finished. Thought I was going to need these, but I thought we about to make some rice. about to cook some rice. Turn these greens off because they're ready. And we're about to, let me run my dish water because I need my dish water because we about to wash pots and stuff in bowls and all that stuff like that once I get this rice and this cornbread going. And then we're gonna start cooking. We're gonna start cooking once I run this dish water. So what, what y'all cook good today? What did y'all cook good on Sunday? So Sunday, I don't know. I don't know when y'all gonna see this video, but today is actually Sunday. Y'all got that neck bone video, child. What y'all think about the neck bones? What do y'all think about those, child? When I tell y'all, them neck bones was busting. Like, they was on point, on time, on point, on time, me and grandma. Ate them up, and do y'all believe they ate some? And I got his approval for those neck bones. They had ate on some of them neck bones. Y'all know I had to reel them in with the mashed potatoes, child. <laughs> I reel him in to eat them neck bones with those mashed potatoes, y'all. And so when he tasted them, they was like, this ain't nothing like what I thought it was gonna taste like. I don't know what he imagined that they was gonna taste like, the reason why he didn't eat neck bones. But he was like, they they was pretty good. They was pretty good. But you know, he wasn't going in on them like me and grandma was because you know how it be when it's your first time eating something, you really ain't gonna, you know, be tanned up like that. You gotta get used to the taste. He was like, it tastes like pork and so, I can only imagine that it probably had like a real um, porky taste to them or something. You know, just like as if you was to eat. I can't really describe it, but I, oh, I done had some ribs before that had like a real porky taste and I really didn't like those ribs. So it probably kind of like had that taste to him or whatever, but he ate them for like, he ate them maybe like two or three times. I'm gonna put it like that. He ate them maybe like two or three times. So that was a lot of times for him to eat them for him for it to be his first time and didn't want to eat no neck bones. I don't know why he didn't like them. He just ain't never trying. But yeah, so I will make you eat some stuff that you say you don't eat right here. You hear me, honey? I will hook them up so good. They be looking so good, child. You gonna have to try them, you know? <laughs> honey, I will do it to you. Okay, so now let me put my stuff in bowls and then we're gonna start because I need the room on my stove. So, oh, y'all like to say, I'll be over here passing out and falling all, all over the place and stuff. Okay, all right, so. They just don't last that long. They get cracks in them and be tearing up and stuff. And so I throw them away. That's what it is. But I keep the bowl. Cause I can always mix some up in them. Honey, you can't throw away the good part. Throw away the bad and keep the good. How about that? So yeah. All right, so. Dang, I wanted to add me some. Let me see. I just pour it right over them. I wanted to add me just a little bit of baking grease to these greens because I had added water. So I just wanted to add some more baking grease to them, you know. They good though, they still flavorful. Yeah, 
don't move quicker than what I want it to. Get some of that grease off up in there. Even though I cooked them in some, but still. You know, when you heat stuff up, you know, especially when you add water to it, you gotta, you know, throw you a little bit more. A little bit, a little bit more love off up in there, honey. Cause just to, you know, wake them up and be like, oh, it ain't, uh, it ain't Christmas no more. It ain't Thanksgiving no more. Uh, today is Sunday. I'm gonna need y'all to taste like Sunday, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna need for y'all to taste like Sunday. I don't need for y'all to taste like Christmas. You was delicious on Christmas, but I'm gonna need for you to be uh, scrumptious on Sunday. So, got that one. Well, put the lid on it. Get my other bowl over here for these green beans. Like that, like turkey necks and turkey tails, and he don't he don't know how to eat. He don't know how to eat, but I'm sure we're gonna show him. You know, it all gonna take time. He gonna learn. He gonna pick up on he pick, he done picked up on them flavors because you know. Let me go and put it like this right here. You know, before me, he ain't know what flavor was. You know what I'm saying? He just, you know, he, listen, I ain't trying to say that I'm the best thing that happened to him, but yeah, they get up in the kitchen. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to toot my horn, but, uh, be, be, uh, but anyway, get out of the way. Um, yeah, um, I don't show him what good cooking supposed to taste like. And so, you know, I changed over his taste buds from just, you know, a meal that just been cooked, you know what I'm saying, to put something on your stomach, to uh, what is supposed to, you know, make your toes curl, and twist and, and you're supposed to rub your feet together while you eat, and then maybe, <clears throat> you know, grunt and groan and stuff, because it just tastes so good, you know what I'm saying, so I done talk to him about all that right there, so now since he know that part right there, he need to learn to open up, you know, his palate and to, you know, expand his palate and try different things because everything really ain't nasty. I don't know who cooked it for him or maybe it's just the look of it, but you know what I'm saying? Everything ain't nasty. So then I found out that he used to eat fish, y'all. I found out he used to eat fish. So I'm like, thank you, Grandma, for letting me know. Because I'm thinking he just ain't never ate fish before. But come to find out, he used to eat fish. His grandma told me. He, he used to eat fish. So I'm like, babe, why you ain't telling me that you used to eat fish? He said, I used to eat it. He said, but I stopped eating it. I don't know why. I don't know if it was the smell. Something, somebody done turned them off with it or what. But, uh, boo boo. You don't have to worry no more, okay? Mm. Turkey neck is still good, child. Child is going down in the kitchen today. But the turkey neck. So I'm thinking about if I want to fry me up. I ain't got no formulas. Stretch, baby. This is gonna be enough for right now. But yeah, so. Um, what was I saying? 
I ain't got forgot what I was saying. I don't know, it wasn't important really. I'm just talking, I'm running my mouth. All right, let me wash these little dishes here. Gotta put those up in here. I, I just, y'all know what? I'm like this, I don't know if y'all the same way. But like I told y'all, we just chilling today. But I can't cook in no dirty kitchen. I can't. I cannot cook in a dirty kitchen. Like, it's just like, I don't want to have to be, oh, I need this bowl, put the bowl dirty. Oh, I need to, uh-uh, baby. Let me just go ahead and on, get my kitchen together, y'all. Just sit here with me, child. Let me go and get my kitchen together. I'm just going to let y'all listen to some music, okay? Just listen to the music and sit back and watch me clean up my dishes so that we can get to wash them. I mean, cooking this uh, fried cornbread and rice. Is that a deal? Just going on and give me a minute, cause child, I don't want to talk about everything, washing dishes, and then by the time it's time to cook the rice and the cornbread, ain't got nothing to say. So hold on one minute, all right. Now I know, don't say nothing, but I had to come back and tell you. Now I know I'm about to take advantage of this opportunity and pull out some bowls out the refrigerator and wash these dishes out the refrigerator. So just don't say nothing. Let me go on and do what I got to do, cause I had to have room for this food that's going in there tonight. From this world Running on a hamster wheel But searching for something I can't feel I just wanna Be a lost girl And fly Take a breath Feel my wings spread Navitate above the ground And make eye contact with clouds Now I'm rising I'm soaring Above For the first 
Before I do anything, don't wash your rice. I'm doing white rice. White rice, not the parboiled rice, because that's the hardest rice for everybody to cook, and that's the rice that I buy. But, because <clears throat> I know how to cook it. But when I really wasn't too sure about how to cook white rice, I used to buy parboiled rice, because you can't mess that rice up. But I'm going to show y'all how to cook this white rice. Now, if you want to cook your parboiled rice the same way, it's up to you. Do what you want to do. But, <clears throat> What we're about to do is, I'm gonna take this rice, and I am I'm, I'm gonna take this pot of water. We're gonna get this water to boiling. That's the first step. Okay. Now, this fan would come on when I'm trying to talk to y'all, but y'all just try to hit me over the fan, okay? It's gonna turn on anyway because I have a gas stove. So, regardless of what, when it get hot, it's gonna turn on. All right, but anyway, so. What you're gonna do is, while you're waiting on your water to boil, do not add no seasonings, no oil, no butter, no nothing to your water. Just boil you a straight pot of hot water. Um, don't wash your rice, don't do nothing to your rice at all. Just, uh, uh, only thing you wanna do is boil this water. When we get ready to do the rice, I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do next, okay? All right, so now, over here, I'm about to mix up me some cornbread. All right, so I'm about to mix up my cornbread. And don't worry about no measurements because I am not going to be going to measure for y'all today. And reason being is because I have a uh, video showing you exactly how I make up my fried whole cakes. Or if you want to make the cornbread that look like hush puppies, but I call them cornbread balls, but they not hush puppies. But you make the hush puppies the same way, but you know, you just add a little bit different ingredients to it to make hush puppies. Then you can go and check those videos out. And, um, you know, and if I can remember, I will try to leave it in the i card above so that you can just click on it, you know, or whatever. But, or, um, uh, 
I might drop the link down in the, the description if I remember, y'all. If I don't remember, just go and check out my fried cornbread balls recipe or whole cakes recipe, and I got and, you, and I give you the uh, measurements and everything on on that uh, video. Okay. All right. So now let me just I need to get my stuff. I hate having my dishes in the drawer. I, that's why I buy me little things to put my spoons and all that stuff in on the counter. So I ain't got to worry about doing this. Lord, is driving me crazy. I can't wait to get my stuff where it needs to be. All right. Woo! Frustrating. Okay, so the rice is, the water's boiling. So let's get back over here real quick. All right, so what I want you to do now is go ahead on and preheat your oven to 350 or 375 degrees. Get your oven going. Okay, so now we got our water boiling for the rice. So I'm going to, whatever amount of rice that you cook, just like I said, make sure that you put a whole lot of water over that rice, okay? More water than what you would need. Okay, so I got me two cups of rice in there. That's gonna be plenty enough for us. All right, so now, whatever, fun, whatever you got to set your timer, set your timer for 12 minutes. Okay, I'm not gonna press start until this water come back up to a boil. When this water come back up to a boil, then we're gonna start them 12 minutes. And once it start boiling, turn your eye down to medium, to medium. That way you, your rice will get a full 12 minute cook time, okay? If you got a boiling on high, then you it's, it's just cook, it's trying to cook too fast. So turn it down on medium so that it can get the full 12 minutes. And, and then after 12 minutes, I'm gonna show you what you need to do. Okay, so now my water is boiling again. I'm going to set my timer back to them 12 minutes. Press start on my timer. Okay, now the 12 minutes gone. I got my pot turned down to a medium and I'm just letting this here boil. I'm gonna let it boil for them 12 minutes till the timer go off. When the timer goes off, have you a colander ready, okay? Have you a colander ready? Crack your lid because you know that your rice will boil over. So crack your lid, I forgot to tell you that. But have you a colander ready that way you'll be ready to do what I'm about to do next, okay? Okay, now y'all, oh, we about to mix up this cornbread. So I got my cornmeal, self-rising cornmeal. And, hold on. All right, so now I'm going in with me some self-rising flour, mixing that in with it. Then, I like sugar in my bread, so I'm going to add some sugar. Milk. 
start mixing. A tad bit of cooking oil, but not too much. So now our rice is done. We're gonna take our rice off the eye, come over here to this colander. And as you can see, you could tell that I had more water than rice because the rice is still swimming in water. The water did not cook out. That's what you want. You just want to cook your rice until it's done. Now we're going to take this rice, dump it in this colander over to with some cold water, and we're going to wash this rice off. We want to wash our rice until the water starts turning clear. If you don't have a colander that have holes small enough on it to keep your rice from going through it, then use your bowl. Make do with what you got. Use your bowl. And now you want to wash, wash your rice. I hope you got your oven on because at this next step, the rice is going in the oven. And I'm gonna tell you why when we get there. But you're gonna wash this rice until that water start running clear, just like you do when you um, wash it before you cook. Massaging it and wash it off. Rinsing it, rubbing it. See, this right here is an easy way for y'all to learn how to cook rice. Because some people just can't figure it out. They be having their rice stuck together. Somebody was asking what was the best rice to get. Hold on, y'all. Okay. So, like I was saying, wash your rice until the water starts running clear. You're just getting it cleaned up real good. Rinse with some of that starch off. Oh, I was saying, somebody was asking what kind of rice is the best rice to buy. Y'all, I don't go by that because I'm like this. I ain't never really tried different kind of rice and stuff like that. Only thing I ever had was white rice, yellow rice, and parboiled rice. Okay. So, if you learn how to cook rice, you ain't got to worry about which rice to go with. You know what I'm saying? And this rice will be just as good as any other rice, you know, that they say it's not as starchy if you do it like I'm doing it because we're washing some of that starch off. We ain't washing all of it off, but we're washing some of that starch off. You know what I'm saying? And by doing it like this, it makes it, help, it, makes it better for those of you that are diabetics. You know what I'm saying? Because if you get that starch up off that rice, you know what I'm saying? That's what run y'all sugar up. It's the starch. A lot of people think it'd be, oh, it's just the sweets and stuff like that. No, it's be them starches. It'd be those starches that turns into a sugar and it run your sugar up. So if you do your rice like this, cook it for the 12 minutes. You see how my rice is? Every grain to itself. I don't like that fluffy, mushy rice. I can't stand that. I like my rice every grain to itself. I don't like my rice fluffy. I don't like my rice sticky. I don't like my rice like that. I like my rice every grain stands alone. All right, so now we don't wash that rice real good. We're gonna let this here water drain off. If you're using a bowl, just drain your water off best you can. We ain't worrying about it because this is the next step we're gonna do. It's the reason for, it's the reason for the next step. Okay, so now we got us a pan. You're going to need your pan to put your rice in. We're 
we're putting our rice in this pan because it's going in the oven. And the reason why we're putting it in the oven is because that's going to help dry the rice out. Get the water off of it and heat it back up. Now you can season up your rice. I like to add oil to my rice because it gives it a nice light flavor, you know, instead of, you know, butter. I'm just an oil girl on my rice. Then you're going to season it with you some salt. Whatever you want to season your rice with, season your rice up now. Put my pepper. Then I'm adding me some chicken seasoning for flavor. Season it real good because you're going to find that this rice is not really going to have as much flavor to it. And that's because you have boiled that starch and all that stuff off of it. You made this rice a little bit more healthier. Okay, so season it real good. And now you're going to mix all your seasonings in on your rice. Get it in the pan, get it, and then get it. We finna go get it in the oven. On the 350, 375, do not cover it because you want it to dry out. If you cover it up, it's gonna the steam is gonna cook it and start fluffing it up even more. So put it in the oven like this so that your rice don't um start um continue to cook more. It's just we're just gonna put it in there like this to let it dry out. So we're gonna take it over here to the oven and I'm gonna put mine in here on the bottom rack. Okay, so back over here to the bread. My bread has thickened up like it would if you just let it sit to the side. So I'm just gonna add me some more liquid to it to thin it back out. And you can also use water as well, but I'm using my milk because I got it. Coming over here to the stove. I'm going to get my me some oil and I'm gonna put enough just to really like cover the bottom of the pan. Okay. If you have your bread real thick and not loose like this, then like this right here. I don't know if y'all can see me. Yeah, not loose like this, then you probably gonna have you're gonna need more oil. But since my bread is a is my bread is a um loose texture, then I'm not gonna need that much more oil. Okay, so I'm gonna get my heat up and we're gonna heat that pan for that with that oil in it. Heat the oil up. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test it. Let me test it. Okay, it's hot. So, I'm going to spoon me some just like pancakes right in the pan. And when the oil is thin, when you, when the mixture is thin like this, you do not want a lot of oil in the pan because you're not going to need it. So my whole cake burn, don't say nothing because I got to get used to this gas stove. And the gas is different from electric when you're cooking and stuff like that. So you got to get used to the temperatures of what it need to be at, you know, when you be cooking certain stuff. So 
just like a pancake. You just wait in. And then you're just gonna flip them over when you think that you can flip them. Like just let them fry. Now I'm gonna get me a plate set up with me some paper towels so I can drain the grease off of them. Okay. So I'm gonna roll those over because I got a little dough on top of them. those right there. Just roll them over. Okay. And just let that little dough get cooked on top. You know. I'm just gonna take them out and put them on your paper towel. Letting them drain. See that? Just like pancakes. Then if you have to, Add you a little bit more oil to your pan. Keep doing the same thing. They're gonna be all different kind of shapes and all that because you be trying to cook more than one or two at a time. I know I do. But before you pour your next one, I forgot to just tell y'all, but I'm just used to doing this. But before you pour your next one, let the edges start building up a little crust so they don't stick together. Not crust, but you know, let them start rising up a little bit.
I got the rice out of the oven and you just get your fork and you just fork it to loosen it up. And you see the rice done dried out. And now you got you some perfect every grain, not sticky rice. Every grain to itself. That's how you make some simple and easy rice and you ain't got to keep buying that bowl in the bag rice. See that? Every grain just falling off to itself. And that's how I like my rice. So now that's ready. Okay. And here's the whole things. Right there. That's what we got. So now dinner is ready. All right, so now it's time for me to make my tea. Tea bags. I already put my sugar in now. I put the sugar in the wallet right after. Um, right before I turned it off, I put my sugar in now. Now. You gotta taste it though, I ain't gonna taste it. This is my dinner. I hope y'all enjoyed me because I enjoyed y'all. I thank y'all for just sitting here with me. Don't forget to ring the doorbell. Hit the thumbs up the like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to set your notification bell. And don't forget to share my video. But until the next time, this your girl T and I going to be me. I love y'all. And y'all have a good one. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.